Fundamentals of Chinese 4, Unit 7 Sports. My gut keeps getting bigger and bigger. Grammar it. Turn to pages 231 to 233 in your textbook and have a pen or pencil ready to take notes. Okay, here we are on page 231 in your textbook in the grammar section. And this element is called duration of non-action. How long something has not been happening. Like I haven't eaten for three days, or I haven't slept for two days, or I haven't played tennis in two years, and, and so on and so forth. Um, and basically, the basic structure in English that we use for this is I haven't done, I haven't skied for two years, I haven't eaten for three days, so I have not done something. That's the past perfect tense. So we would use the past perfect tense in English. I have not eaten. I have not swam. I have not skied. I have not slept. Right? In three days, in four years, in three weeks, or whatever. So we use the past perfect um, to express this kind of concept. A period of time that you have not done a certain activity. In Chinese, here is the uh, structure that they use to express this meaning. So I suggest that you memorize this structure so that you can pull it up whenever you need it. Um, the structure is the period of time. Okay, so let's take this first. Uh, well, let's make up our own example while I go through this. So the uh, the time expression is the period of time. Okay, so let's say I haven't skied in two years. Okay, I haven't skied in two years. I haven't been skiing in two years. Okay, so we have the time expression first. Liang nian. So, wo liang nian. I, two years. Mei. Okay, now our verb, ski to go skiing, which is xia xue. Okay, and then le. So, wo liang nian. Mei xia xue le. I haven't skied in two years. Okay. I I haven't eaten in a week, if anyone could survive that, right? I haven't eaten in a week. Wo I haven't eaten in two weeks. Okay, so that's now that you understand this basic structure. Let's take a look at some of the examples. Okay, and what you might want to do is cover up the English and see if you can figure them out. Um, but you may want to pause and go through and see if you can figure them out first by covering up the English and seeing if you can translate them, and then come back to this video as I go through and explain them, and you can check what you came up with. So let me go on here. Ta san tian mei sheng wang le. Ta san tian mei sheng wang le. Okay, he hasn't gone online for two days. So ta, we have the time, time, the mei, mei, and then the verb sheng wang, the activity, right? Sheng wang, and then le. Le. And the le is in parentheses here because it's optional. Okay. Let's take a look at the next one. Wo liang nian mei jian cha shen ti la. Wo liang nian mei jian cha shen ti la. Okay. I haven't had a checkup in two years. I haven't been to the doctors for a checkup in two years. I haven't had a checkup in two years. Okay. Wo. And then the time expression, liang nian. And then mei. And then the action, jian cha, uh, jian cha shen ti. Right? Check my body, jian cha shen ti. And then the le. Okay. Wo de gou bing le. Yi tian mei chi dong xi le. Okay. My dog is sick. She hasn't eaten anything. For, for a day. So, 一天, the time period, 
and then may, and then the verb, and the object if the verb has an object, 吃东西 and then 了我的狗病了，一天没吃东西了。Uh, in these last two examples, they cut off the l. You'll notice、um, there's a l here, but there's no las here. They cut them out because they're optional. It's optional. Okay, 妹妹，上个月特别忙，三个星期没回家。Okay. My younger sister was especially busy last month, and she didn't come home for three weeks. Okay, so now pay attention here. When we're talking about something that we haven't done, like I haven't been skiing in two years, 我两年没下雪了 I haven't been skiing for two years. We use the past perfect. However, in Chinese, we、uh, in Chinese. Uh, and in English too, if the event is taking place in the past, so I was in China last year, and by the time I got to China, I hadn't spoken any Chinese for a year. Okay, so I may be speaking Chinese now, but two years ago when I went to China, when I had arrived in China two years ago, I had not spoken any Chinese for a year. Okay, so now this is not the past perfect anymore. It's a more complicated form of past tense, which I can't recall the name of right now.、Um, but in Chinese, when you do that, okay,、um, you still use the same old、um, uh, structure. You have time, sangue xin qi. You have mei. And then you have the activity, 回家 And if you want, you can put le here. But the point is, is that in English it changes because the the、um, the structure of the sentence changed. It's not I haven't today is March thirteenth, and I haven't been skiing in two years. And or when I went to Beijing two years ago, when I arrived in Beijing, I had not spoken Chinese for a year. Okay, had not spoken. This is a different. We have to now use a different grammar structure in English to express this meaning. But in Chinese, we don't. It's still the same grammar structure. So, 妹妹，上个月特别忙，三个星期没回家。Okay, so my sister was especially busy last month, and she didn't come home for three weeks. Okay. Again, you see that grammar in English changes again、uh, from the example I gave you personally. She didn't come home for three weeks. Okay, but up here I haven't had a checkup. Okay, so the grammar in English changes, but in Chinese it's consistently this same structure. And then finally, the last example.、Uh, 去年寒假我去英国旅行。一个月没吃中国菜 ，Okay, so I went on a trip to Britain during the winter break last year and didn't eat any Chinese food for a month. Okay, so let's look at that again. First, I went on a trip to Britain during the winter break last year. 去年寒假 last year winter break, 我去英国旅行 I go to China, went to China、uh, to travel. And didn't eat any Chinese food for a month. 一个月 time element 没吃中国菜 Okay, and now、uh, please note the difference between this construction and the one that indicates the duration of an action in the affirmative sentence. Okay, so let's take a look. These were all talking about things that did not happen for a certain period of time, and in here. We have. I have been studying Chinese for two years. Okay, you have been. You listening to this video have been studying Chinese now for almost two years. 我学了两年中文了 Okay, so I and immediately study. No time element. 我学了两年中文了 Okay, 
Really? I haven't studied Chinese for two years. Shima, and now we go to this grammatical element that we're learning now. Wo liang nian mei xue zhong wen la. Okay. Next we have uh, the use of hao and nan. So in this dialogue, Gao Wen Zhong was talking about running in the cold weather in the winter, in the hot weather in the summer, and he said that was nan shou. And shou means to bear or, in, or endure. And nan shou means difficult to bear or difficult to endure. And so here we're looking at um, the use of hao and nan together with uh, verbs or adjectives. Okay, so let's just jump right down into the examples. Um, in this case, how usually means easy, okay, and nan means difficult. So we have how show is easy to bear, nan show difficult to bear. How xie easy to write, that Chinese character is easy to write. Nan xie difficult to write, that Chinese character is difficult to write. Okay, how zo. Okay, easy to walk. Okay, that mountain trail is hao zo. Okay, or difficult to walk on. That mountain trail up Mount Washington, nan zo. Lots of rocks, lots of water, very muddy, it's very difficult. Nan zo. Hao zo, nan zo. Here are some other examples. Hao shuo, it's easy to say. Um, or nan shuo, difficult to say meaning some maybe it's uncomfortable you know I have to talk to you about something but it's very uncomfortable and embarrassing um, or I need to talk to you about something but it's very complicated and abstract right so both of these would be nan short nan short or can you explain to me why a b c d oh that's easy yeah I can explain that that's pretty simple how short that's easy to say how short how don't Dong means to understand. How dong? Okay, this is easy to understand. Chigashuching how dong? Okay, or uh, uh, it's very difficult to understand. Chigashuching how dong? dong? Chigashuching how dong? dong? This is very difficult to understand. How chung? Right? Um, happy birthday is how chung? Very easy to sing. Okay? Na uh nan chung. Okay, um Nesun Dorma is a very difficult uh opera aria to sing. It's a very difficult aria to sing. Nan chung. Only Pavarati can sing that well. Okay, there's an example. Okay. Hao chi delicious. Right? Chi means eat, right? Hao chi delicious. Nan chi terrible. Not delicious, disgusting, right? Tastes bad. How can? Okay, pretty. Okay, ta how can? She's very pretty. Nan can, ugly. Nan can, ta nan can, he is ugly. How ting? Ting means listen. How ting? Uh, that music is wonderful, beautiful. It's pleasant to listen to. How ting? Ooh, that music is, that song sounds horrible. Nan ting. Nan ting. That's a. This song is nanting. Jisho ge nanting. This song is unpleasant. Jisho ge hao ting. This song is very nice. Okay. Next we have xia qu. So you know xia means down, go down, and qu means go, right? Xia qu in a literal sense is means to go from a higher place to a lower place. Xia uh, qu. You're at the top of the stairs, um, you're with someone, and you want them to go down the stairs because they're not, they're standing there talking to you, and you want them to go down. Xia qu. Go down. Xia qu. Okay. You're upstairs, you want to go downstairs. Wo xia qu. I'm going down. Okay. But xia qu can also mean the continuation of an action that is in progress. Okay. Go on speaking. Go on speaking. You remember in the dialogue, uh, Wang Peng told a Gao Wenzhong who was not interested in doing any kind of exercise, he told him, Peng Xia Qu, go on being fat. 
说下去 ，go on speaking， 胖下去 ，go on being fat。Okay, and we have another example here. 你啊、uh, ，别念下去了。我一点儿也不喜欢听。Okay, please stop reading. 你 ，you， 别 ，don't， 念下去了。Go on reading out loud. 你别念下去了。我一点儿也不喜欢听。I don't like listening to it at all. All right, next we have. 啊、uh, ，中文很有意思，我想学下去。中文很有意思，我想学下去。Okay, Chinese is very interesting. I'd like to continue learning it. Okay, 我想学下去。Okay, 啊、uh, ，你已经跑了一个多小时了，再跑下去要累死了。Okay, so. You've already been running for more than two hours. 你已经啊、uh, 跑了一个多小时了 If you keep running, 再跑下去 you'll be exhausted. 要累死了 Okay, 跑下去 If you keep running, 再跑下去 Okay. There you go. That's the conclusion of the、uh, grammar segment for this unit.